I wanted to add something really cool to my divination and magic tool chest, and that's when I found Druid Sticks. What are they? How do you use them for readings? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm Dr. Mystical, and you're welcome here. On this channel, you're going to find things related to tarot, divination, magic, and so much more. If you're interested, please consider subscribing and setting the alert. You are absolutely welcome in our community. I've been throwing cards for a long while, tarot and oracle cards. I even have my own set of divination dice called the Steampunk Divination Dice. But I wanted to add something really interesting and cool to the readings that I provide. And I went looking for OM runes and found these things called Druid Sticks. Wow, totally fell in love with them. These Druid Sticks are from a store called Rare Earth Woodwork on Etsy. I'll put a link in the show description so you can check it out. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not making this in exchange for any products. I purchased the products um, for us and I'm just so impressed I wanted to create this video. I also wanted to create the video because I didn't know anything about Druid Sticks and finding information on Druid Sticks and Geomancy Sticks was a little hard to find. So I thought we'd make this video so I have a resource to go back to. But if you're interested in your own set of Druid Sticks or your own Geomancy work within your magical practice, hopefully this video provides you some um, insight and some value. Let's talk about first what are Druid Sticks and then we'll talk about how do you use them. So a Druid Stick or a Druid Stave is a, is a Geomancy tool. And on each side of the stave, you're going to find... Um, it's markings. On one side, you're going to find um, two markings. On the other side, you're going to find a single marking. Essentially, what you're doing is you're taking these sticks and you're throwing them down. You're organizing them without looking at them. It forms that tetragram, and that's when you get your meaning. Druid sticks might be familiar to you if you know about things like I Ching or Geomancy. Very, very simple process to use. So even if you're not used to runes or tarot or oracle, Druid sticks or Druid staves is something that you can add to your magical practice by knowing just 16 different tetragrams. Let's take a look at each of these tetragrams and what they mean. So in this throw, we're seeing greater fortune. So sometimes this is called major fortune or majora fortuna, um, but major fortune or greater fortune is a throw of really, really good luck, really good luck, really positive outcomes. And a good way to think about this in um, contrast to another throw called lesser fortune was that this would be an easier path to success. It'd be easy luck. It'd be a positive outcome that maybe you don't need to work so hard to achieve. It talks about happiness and it talks about harmony. And so if the, if the reading or the inquiry were around, will I get this job after the interview that I just went through, greater fortune would suggest that you're absolutely going to get the job, you're absolutely going to get the outcome, and that that's going to be a positive thing for you. You're not going to need to work much harder in order to achieve that. Or if it were a relationship reading, you know, will this be the partner that I'm with for a while? And the answer would be, yeah, and it's going to be a relationship that doesn't have a lot of drama or work to be done within it. Um, it's going to be a kind of an easier path to a positive outcome. So in this reading, we see lesser fortune, similar to major fortune or greater fortune. We have the two markings. Instead of being at the top, we see them at the bottom. We see the single markings here at the top, and that's a good visual indicator for you that you're dealing with something, you know, where you're, you're dealing with the lesser fortune. You think about fortune being these two things. It's lower than or lesser than than it is on the top. And lesser fortune is still a positive throw of the druid sticks, but we're, we're going we're gonna to interpret it a little bit differently. Lesser fortune really is kind of the absence of being unlucky or the absence of bad luck. It's not necessarily good luck, but it's not bad luck either. Though we're going to see some prosperity and some positive outcomes, but it's not going to be as great as it could be. It also indicates that you know we're going to have a good outcome or we're going to have a positive outcome, but there's still going to have to be a little bit of harder work to get to that point. 
So using the uh, reading example from Greater Fortune, will I get this job after the interview that I just had? The answer is going to be, yeah, but you're going to need to answer some additional questions or you're going to need to do a little bit more follow-up in order for you to have that positive outcome. And even then, it might not be the, the windfall or the outcome that you're hoping for, but it's still going to be better than maybe what you have. In a relationship reading, it might be that, yeah, you're going through some hard times. There's going to be some success for you in this relationship, but you do need to do the work in order for you to have some prosperity. It gives, it kind of couches that fortune in a little bit of hard work. And in this throw, we see the way where we see all the single uh, markings on the, at the positive, almost like a path or a roadway. The way is an indicator of travels or journeys. So if this is a reading about a vacation or about a relocation or about some sort of a road trip that's going on, this will be a very positive reading. Yes, you're gonna be taking a trip. Yes, you're gonna to need to do a little bit of relocation for this, but this is the kind of the path forward for you. Um, it also is a throw that indicates that you're gonna to need to overcome some obstacles to kind of stay on your path or maybe change directions, maybe go in a different direction. So if the reading were along the lines of, I'm not really sure whether I should continue studying this subject in school or not, the way might suggest that there's a bit of a change of directions. Now, there's also something here you want to pay attention to in that we're only seeing the singular markings at the on the tops of our druid sticks here. And so this is also a throw of being alone or solitude. So, so we're, this is not something that we're going to see with groups of people or reliance on other people. So the question is, you know, will I, you know, will I be able to count on my family for support um, in this uh, job change? Or will I be able to count on my friends for, um, to come along on this vacation with me? The answer is going to be no, right? This, this is a, this is going to be a path more of solitude and you be having to count on yourself in order to get this done. It also may be that you need to do some of this work or go through this path on your own as opposed to giving it over to other people. Now, directly contrasting the way is the people. And you can see we've got the dual markings on the tops of the druid sticks here. So this is a nice visual reminder that we're working with something a little different than the way and we're dealing with all the markings. So we're talking about the people. So we're talking about groups and networks of people. We're talking about people coming together. We're talking about gatherings. We're talking about friends and family and loved ones and people kind of being around you. And so if you're talking about, you know, how how will this how will this house be if the question was you know what will our house be like um, we're buying a new home and what will that look like this would indicate that this is going to be a home of gatherings this is going to be a home of family this is going to be a home of togetherness it's also a reading that shows you that there's a need for others, that there's a need for others to be around. So if the question is, how will I be able to accomplish this project in my work life and my job? The answer is going to be, look, you're going to have to rely on other people in order to get this done. Yeah, maybe you're used to working alone, which would be the way, but here you're going to need to rely on some other people or network with some other people. Again, you want to listen to um, spirit and the messaging that you get there, but the people is this sort of indicator to you that in the reading we're going to there's a reliance or a call for other people to be around the particular question or situation or issue that the querent is having it's also uh, a reading of stability so if the question were, you know, look, how will this new job be for me? Or how will this new relationship be for me? The answer is very, very stable, right? So we can see the dual markings here. So this is a very stable relationship. It's a very stable job. It's one you're going to be happy with because it is going to involve connecting to people and connecting to other people and relying on other people in a relationship. It might be like it's going to be a relationship of family and friends being around you and true happiness. And in this throw, we see the gain. And the gain is indicated by um, our dual markings on the first and third 
um, druid stick. On the second and fourth, we see the singular one. And the gain is what you would expect it to be. Really, it's a throw of prosperity and promotion. It's a throw of gathering. It's a throw, a throw of kind of gathering things, but I don't mean like gathering up things, but rather um, adding things like acquisitions or, um, or achieving something. It's a throw of good fortune. And so you would read this if someone says, look, you know, it, am I going to get this job or what is this job going to be like, this new job that I just got? We see the gain. We see, well, look, this is going to be uh, this is going to be a real positive job for you. You're going to have a lot of prosperity. You may even be dealing with someone who's asking, will I get this promotion at work? The gain would be a positive indicator that that promotion is more possible. Now, the other thing about the gain is that it indicates that we are past some challenges of um, th- that we've gone through. So, if someone says, look, I've had a hard time for the last six months. I just want to know, are the next six months going to be any better? The gain would suggest that, look, these challenges, these obstacles that you've overcome are behind you right now. And now is the time for you to gain a little bit, get some prosperity, get some success under your belt, and really start to get the traction going. So this is the gain. And in this throw, we see the loss. So be careful here. This is very similar to the gain. It's actually like the gain in reverse. And so we see the singular marking on the first and third druid stick and the dual marking on the second and fourth. So just pay careful attention that you're not misreading this as the gain. The loss, as you might imagine, with it being almost it being in reverse of the gain is, in fact, the reverse messaging. So we're seeing a throw of bad luck and misfortune. Things just aren't working out, maybe unlucky in love or unlucky in career, or unlucky in the situation that you're facing. And so uh, questions about, you know, will I get this job that I've been interviewing for? Probably not so much. Or if you do, it's not going to lead you to anything that you're interested in. Or, you know, will you know will my relationship uh, with this person, this friendship that with this person, will it work out through this troubled time? Chances are good. That loss indicates that things the the outcome is not going to be as positive. And this also could mean that there's a lack of well-being within the person. We want to be careful that we don't offer medical advice because no, this is never a substitute for qualified advice. But it also could be a little bit of an indicator of some sickness or some dis-ease um, in the querent's life right now. Maybe there's just a little bit of anxiety or time that they need to go through or that that's not really a time of good well-being for them or a good healthiness for them and that they should be thoughtful and careful careful in in approaching those situations, maybe making sure they go to see a doctor or go to see a practitioner of their choosing. The other thing about this is that the loss indicates almost a kind of time of unluckiness or a time of unfortunateness for the person. And so we want to caution the caution the querent that this is a time for you to be very careful about the decisions that you make. So be thoughtful, add some pause. There's a higher propensity for loss during this time. So we want to make very, very careful decisions about what we need. If the question were about, look, I'm thinking about buying this house or thinking about buying this car, obviously, right, we'd want to say, look, maybe this is a time where you want to be extra cautious, extra careful in making that purchase or extra careful in reading those contracts because the propensity right now in the universe for you is to be a little bit more unlucky, the loss. And in this throw, we're seeing the dragon's head. Now, the dragon's head looks like greater fortune, but we're only seeing the two markings at the top and singular markings all the way down like a dragon's head and body. And so this is a reading of good stuff. This is a reading of new beginnings and remaining vigilant. It's a car. It's a throw of uh, being um alert and aware of the situation and what's going on if this so a higher level of discernment so if the querent were is there anything else that i need to you know how what should i be aware of in going into this agreement with 
um, with my friend or this agreement uh, around a, a purchase, the the question would the answer might be, look, you're already in a very discerning place, right? It's this is a time of new beginnings, but you 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 do you want to remain vigilant, and you are remaining vigilant. You're getting the information you need. Things probably aren't being hidden from you, right? So this is a time of you being kind of on alert and aware and discern. It's also a reading of um, birth, right? So maybe it's so again, we're talking about new beginnings, but if someone say, you know, am I going to be, you know, pregnant in the new year or pregnant in the, you know, the next couple of months, this again, medical advice, you want to make sure you stay away from good medical, any medical advice, refer them to their doctor. But you might say, look, spiritually, emotionally, the dragon's head indicates that you're ready for and working your way towards this new beginning or this birth of a of a, a new child, or it could just be the birth of an idea or a work project. You know, how is my, you know, is this entrepreneurial project that I'm working on going to be a positive one? Is it going to work out? The answer would be, yeah, no, it looks like that's certainly the case. It's also a reading of um, spirituality. So magic and mysticism and wonder and woo-woo and all the stuff that we would talk about. So when you're working with a querent who might have a question about their spiritual path or should they be thinking about maybe adding something like druid sticks to their magical ways, the answer here would be a positive one, an indicator that things are kind of in that place for them right now. And this is, you know, they're really tapping into that sense of magic and spirituality and mysticism in their life. So this is the dragon's head. It's the dragon's tail, the opposite of the dragon's head. We can see the two markings here at the bottom and the three individual markings above it, almost like the tail of a dragon. So it's a good indica visual indicator for you that you're dealing with something different than the dragon's head, that it's on the opposite side of the druid sticks. The dragon's tail, as you might expect, if the dragon's head indicates beginnings, the dragon's tail indicates endings and exits. It's a time for you to walk away from the situation, having learned some lessons. So this is not necessarily, look, this is the end of things. Um, and just be done with it, but rather the end of things with some reflection and some contemplation about what happened. So the situation might be, look, I'm, I'm leaving my job. Is this the right time for me to be leaving my job? The indication of the dragon's tail might be that this is probably a good time for you to be thinking about an exit strategy for your work, um, but also, you know, and to walk away from a situation, but to carry with you the lessons that you learned. Don't be hasty, making sure that that, that lesson's learned as an indicator to not be hasty and just storm in and quit your job, but rather be more careful and more, um, more, more thoughtful about this exit. So learn something and then walk away from it. Now, the dragon's tail is also an indicator that maybe you're not being told the full truth of a situation. So if someone's in, in negotiations around, um, uh, around some sort of um, contract, the dragon's tail might indicate that they're not being told the full truth or they're questioning whether a friend or a partner might be might be you know being a little bit sneaky on them the dragon's tail would say look be careful what information you're getting cuz it may be deceptive it may be fraudulent there may be an illusion that you need to sort through and kind of understand and get through in order for you to get to the truth of it but this the dragon's tail is ultimately a car or a throw of um, a throw of endings and exits and walking away having learned something important. And in this throw, we see the leader, which um, I renamed from the boy. So if you look up um, Geomancy Tetrads, you're going to see this referred to as the boy. But I want us to be a little bit more inclusive and welcoming of um, of the spectrum of things and really focusing in on the energy of what this reading means. And so in the leader, which we've renamed from the boy to be more inclusive, we're talking about um, leader type of qualities and um, characteristics. So we're talking about leadership and being out front, taking the responsibility for a situation and showing a little bit of uh, initiative. So this would be a 
a good reading if someone were talking about um, their side hustle and is there how's their side hustle going to be going for the next couple of months? You know, are th are they putting the new effort that they're putting in um, in their job or in their relationship or in their partnership? The leader as a throw would indicate that things are you know that things are taking some initiative and that the person needs to continue to act responsibly um, in this situation. It also indicates a sense of sort of completion or accomplishment. So will I be able to launch this new brand for uh, for my for my my company? The leader would be an indicator that you're able to not just do that, but that it'll be a successful time for you and that you'll be able to kind of accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. And finally, um, part of the energy around the leader is this, but there's a potential conflict that may exist. And so Leaders are always, what we want to think about leaders is kind of being out front and up at the top. And because they're kind of out there at that position, there's always a potential for them to, to spot and engage in more conflict than maybe people who are behind the leader or the followers, right? So this could also be uh, the indicator to be ready for some potential conflict. So I'm about to, you know, purchase this house. You know, what should I know about? If you pulled the leader, you would say, look, things, you know, you're going to need to kind of be in charge of this situation. There is some potential conflict for you um, that you need to be aware of and that you need to manage. But ultimately, you can't let uh, you can't let maybe other parties take the leadership role. You're going to need to do that. So this is the leader, again, inclusively renamed from the boy. So here we have the healer, which I inclusively renamed from the girl to focus more on the characteristics of this particular throw and to degenderize, um, to degenderize things to be a little bit more contemporary and modern. So the healer is very similar to the to the leader. We see the we see the single markings at the first, third, and fourth druid sticks. We see the dual markings here at the second, and so it's very very close to the to the leader, but it is it is a different throw. So careful. Hopefully make sure you're looking from the top to the bottom as you're reading. And so the healer's energy, again, inclusively renamed from the girl. So if you're looking around, you might see it referred to there, but we're making this a little bit more contemporary and reflective of the world that we live in. And so the healer really is a throw of healing and health. It's a throw of well-being. Um, things, you know, this is a, maybe if it's about a particular person, like what, what uh, career choice might I be thinking about? It might be along the lines of the healing art. So maybe it's medicine or healthcare or social work or some helping profession that they want to go into. It's a throw of wisdom and uh, wisdom in using our intelligence and using our smarts in context of the larger world. Remember, we're tapping, we're tapping into to the more spiritual, emotional realms here with the healer. So this is also a throw of intuition. So if it was, I'm confused about the situation with my friend and we throw the healer, the, the reading would be along the lines of, you know, let's, let's focus in on our intuition, right? Listen to what you're being told from spirit, from the universe, from your instincts. Those are going to be the things that kind of guide you. Um, it's also a throw of, of purity and cleanliness. So, you know, you know, what do I need to do to get my life? Life on track, clean, clean yourself up, get things going, make sure it's might you might almost kind of think about this as a little bit of temperance, right? Focusing in on some um, some more clean habits, breaking some bad habits. And it's also a throw of music and arts, again, tapping into those emotional and spiritual realms within our querent, saying, you know, maybe if the question is, I don't know how to de-stress from this situation or from my work life, you know, this also might be a time for you to say, look, you know, maybe you practice maybe some hobbies that refill your soul, like like playing music or listening to music or maybe doing a little bit of artwork to kind of allow yourself to um, de-stress. So this is um, the healer inclusively renamed from the girl. In this throw, we're seeing the joy, where we have the dual markings on the second through fourth druid six, the single marking here at the top. And the joy is what you would expect it to be. It's a throw of joy. It's a throw of happiness. Um, it's a throw of positive changes. So if the question is, you know, how will this relationship, you know, my partner and I had a squabble 
And, you know, I want to know how things are going to be, how things are going to work out. Is this the end of things? Is it the, is our things going to be okay? That a, a reply of the joy would be that there's going to be a positive change that comes out of this situation for you and for your partner, that ultimately things are going to work out for, uh, for the better. It's a throw that offers a peace of mind and some calmness and some, um, some harmony for, um, the querent. And right, if it's been, I have had a hard time for the last couple of months, how are things going to go? Look, this is a time for you to kind of relax, um, uh, you know, find some inner peace for yourself because there's good times ahead and some good health or good well-being. Again, the full caveat here, we want to make sure we don't give medical advice in any readings, refer people to a medical practitioner, but it might be a time for you to say, look, things are going to start emotionally, start to feel better for you. You're going to start to have a better level of well-being um, in the next little a while focusing in on some of the positive changes that you need to make in your life. Now, interestingly, what we can see here um, with the joy might be if the if the reading were you know, I'm having a really hard time, you know, you know, my, my goldfish passed and, you know, I, I'm, I've, my hours have been cut at work and I'm having a hard time. You know, what do I need to do? Like their reading is more focused on, on an action then the joy might suggest that there does need to be some positive change in order for there to be peace of mind in order for there to be good times and good well being ahead. So read the situation, of course, read the querent and the question, but the joy is generally a a throw of positivity and positive change and happiness and joy um, of the outcome. Opposite the joy, we have the sadness. We have the sadness. And the sadness, just like opposite the joy, right? It is the joy in its reverse, right? So now we have the three, we have sticks one through three with the double markings, the dual markings, and the single marking here at the bottom on the fourth druid stick. The sadness is a throw of some grief and sorrow. It's a throw of disappointment. So I'm waiting to hear about this job interview. Will I, you know, will I get this job? The sadness would indicate the chances are better that you're going to hear some disappointing news for yourself. Um, if you really, really wanted this job, the sadness would indicate that maybe it, maybe it's not going to be coming for you or you had uh, maybe a first date or first encounter with a potential partner and you you want to know if there's going to be a second one, the sadness would indicate not just that maybe it's going to be, you're going to be disappointed, but also that this might be a time of loneliness for you, a time of uh, isolation for you, or kind of being on your own. And that's okay. It's okay. Um, it indicates that there is some negative change coming for you, um, that you need to be prepared for that. Um, it might be a time of difficult well-being. So again, sickness or dis-ease um, might be indicated here, and you want to make sure you're really clear with people. This is not a substitute for medical advice, but it might be a time for um, a little bit of uh, difficult well-being, some dis-ease in their life um, coming for them to make sure that they see um, see a, a doctor to take care of themselves, to do the things that they need to do. Remember, this is giving people, you want to give people some indicators of what they can be doing. And so the sadness tells us a little bit about what might be happening so that we can be, we can exercise some free will over the situation. So that's the sadness. Here we have the union. I like to think about this as almost kind of two things being joined here as one. So we have our dual markings here on the on the first and the fourth druid sticks with our single markings on the second and third, almost like two things coming together in a union. So what do we think about when we think about unions? Well, we're thinking about love and commitment. And so, you know, will I get married in the new year? The union might very well indicate that the chance of that happening is higher, right? Of co uh, the coming together of, of people. So friendships and partnerships, um, it might be attracting a new, a new partner. So will I have you know, I've been single for a while. Will I attract a new partner? Absolutely. The union indicates that that the chance and the likelihood of you attracting someone into your life um, is is more positive, right? It's also it also 
is a throw of attraction, sexual attraction, intimate attraction in bringing things in. So, you know, I want to know how does XYZ feel about me? The union would suggest that they see you as a potential partner, that there's some attraction and there's a, there's a higher chance or likelihood that you'll be able to come together into a relationship. So that's kind of what this talks about. The prison. The prison is a very similar to the union, except here we're seeing our single markings on the first and fourth druid sticks, our dual markings on the second and third. And this is different than union, so be careful. Again, remember, read from the top to the bottom. That way you understand a little bit more about what it is that you're looking at. The prison is a throw of some limitations, some obstacles, and some barriers that the querent might be facing or might be about to face. And so the prison suggests that these things are going to hold them down or hold them back, right? They're going to limit their progress or limit their success. And so that's some of what the prison means. Um, it's also a throw of some worry and some anxiety that maybe there's a more difficult times ahead that they're going to have maybe a, a change in their luck, a reversal of that fortune. Um, so, you know, if the question is, hey, look, my side hustle has been going really well, you know, I'm thinking about maybe making this my full time job. You know, what what should I be aware of? What you might be aware of is, look, there's going to be a reversal of fortunes here. Maybe this isn't the right time. Maybe give it a little bit more time to see if your fortunes do change and how you might address that. It also might be um, if you're looking at uh, a relocation to uh, a place, it might be, look, you're going you're gonna to be talking about some obstacles and barriers in that relocation for work. Pay attention to those things and understand what they are before getting into that situation. The prison is also a throw of isolation. Focus here on the center of the druid sticks where we have this kind of gap. And so if this was a reading about, you know, I've been lonely for a while, I've been single for a while, I'm looking for a potential partner, will I get one in the month ahead? Um, this would indicate there's going to be some loneliness, some isolation for you coming up. So this is going to be a time for a partner to enter your life and rather for you to kind of work, on, you know, don't, don't work with that in the forefront of your mind. So the prison is a, a read for limitations and obstacles and barriers. There's also a positive aspect of the prison. And if we're dealing with a reading that has an agreement or a partnership or a contract or some sort of other administrative um, type of situation, limitations might be a good thing because we want to make sure those agreements and those administrative things are really well crafted and well designed. So there's not a lot of latitude, which could potentially cause conflict down the road. So the prison can be a good throw for you. Here we have the white. You can almost see it almost looks like a bit of a W um, in its shape. That's a good reminder, a good way to remember that this is W or white where we have the dual markings on the first, second, and fourth sticks, the single on the third. Um, the white is, think of it like the white or the light. It's um, a throw of patience. It's a throw of uh, moderation. Uh, it's a throw of temperance. It's a time for us to maybe stop living so um, kind of out here on the edges of the world, right? Kind of bring things together in a sort of moderate, more a more moderate type of path. The white um, is also an indicator of um, some careful or uh, some careful decisions need to be made here. So. If the question from the Quarian is, you know, look, I've just been having a crazy time for the last couple of months. I want to know, you know, what do I need to do to kind of get control over my situation, the situation or the issue or my life or where I'm, things are going? Um, the white would be, look, look, this is a time for you to exercise a little bit of patience and a little bit of moderation, right? Don't be, don't try to be doing too much. Maybe you're burning the candle at both ends or you're committing, over committing yourself to situations. This is a time for you to bring things back into a balance, a spiritual balance, an emotional balance, a mental balance, a physical balance, whatever that may be. It's also a throw for the querent to be aware of or alert to a, some illumination that's 
coming into their life. So this could be the lessons that they need to learn or some sort of messaging from the universe about what needs to come. So if the question is, you know, when will I hear from XYZ about uh, about this uh, about this new job, it might be the the white as a throw might be, look, this is a time for you to be a little bit more patient. There's some illumination coming. There's a lesson. There's some information coming to you. But this is a time for you to really be more patient in the situation. Or if the question were, you know, should I call this potential partner? You know, we had a great time last week. I haven't heard from them. You know, should I call them? This would be a throw of patience and a throw to kind of urge a little bit of moderation and some temperance, the white. And it's the red. So this is the red. And you can almost kind of see it's almost looks like an R, which it's so it's very, very close to the white, but this is the red. It almost looks like take a look at the, the markings. They almost look as if they're an R. Be really careful. We have the dual markings at the first, third, and fourth sticks, and the single marking here at the second. The red is very different than the white. This is a this is a throw of stop. This is a throw of caution. This is a throw of don't go any further right now. That you need to stop and give this situation some consideration. Um, the red. So if it's you know I don't know what to do. You know my my boss has asked me to you know take on this new responsibility, but I'm not sure what should I do. The red would be hey look you need to stop and give this more thought. You need to stop and give this more clarity. You need to make sure you're asking a lot more questions. But this isn't a time to say yes. It's a time to say no. And it's a time to stop. Or I'm, you know, I'm having um, difficulties in this um, this relationship with my partner. You know, what should I do? The stop, caution, car, or throw kind of indicates that there needs to be a pause for the cause here. Um, the red is also a throw of, think about it as the color red. So it's a throw of conflict and tempers. You know, I'm thinking about, uh, I'm thinking about moving in with, um, I'm thinking about moving in with some friends, some, a roommate situation. You know, what can I expect? Um, the red might indicate that this situation is not a good idea. Not only do we stop, but there could be some conflict and some flare ups between you and your friends. So maybe that's not something that you're in for. Right now, even if the situation demands or suggests that maybe that's something you should be thinking about. Um, and then again, with the red, we want to think about the color red. This is also um, this is also a, car, a throw of sexuality and passion, right? Passion can sometimes be read as intimacy, can sometimes be read as conflict. And so, you know, passion kind of cuts both ways a little bit. But, you know, I want to know a little bit more about, you know, I met this, I met this partner, things are going along really, really well, but we're thinking about taking it to a more intimate level. The red might indicate that um, that's going to that's gonna be a, a relationship or a, a, a situation filled with some passion and some sexuality. Or, you know, maybe the question is, you know, what do I need to do to reinvigorate the relationship that I have? The red might be, uh, the red might be, again, listen to spirit and the universal guidance, but it might be to focus a little bit on some of the sexuality within the relationship or the passion within the relationship. So this is the red. And that's Druid Sticks. It's a really simple, straightforward system. Four staves or sticks, 16 tetragrams. You can refer back to the video if you get a little bit lost on how to what the tetragrams are, what their meanings are, or how to use them in readings. If you like these tetragrams, or again, they're from a shop called Rare Earth Woodwork on Etsy. The craftsmanship is superb. They didn't sponsor this video. I'm just thrilled um, with this product and I wanted a tool to, to learn more about them so that I can use them in our readings together. If you're interested in these, they have lots more different varieties. Check that out in the show description. If you got value out of this video, please consider subscribing and setting the alert. And while you're there, hit the like button and we'll see you on another video.